Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com and we are there! I promised this in the first introduction video, we are going to make the Doom Guy fart. Why? Because we can and why wouldn't you? Uh, you know... <laughs> but we are going to combine uh, videos from our, our... combine functions from our previous videos. So hopefully you watched the other videos in this series, but let me just show you what we're going to do here. Uh, and again, we're just going to make the Doom Guy fart whenever we want by pressing the F key. We're going to start off with a message so that people who tried this know what to do. Welcome to the farting halls. Uh, fart... Uh, yeah, press F to fart. <laughs> and... And it plays a random fart sound every time you press F. Again, just because we can. Also, note that if you hit tab, a couple times to go to the maps, you can see down here, it says the Farting Halls is the name of this map. So let's go ahead and quit and just look at the code. Again, this is childish and silly and, uh, but it's, it's, you know, refining our skills, if not our manner. Okay, so we have our Z script file here, and we are loading up, first of all, we're saying what version of the Z script we're using, and then we're loading up our key press script and our start message script. And again, start message is there because if you loaded up this, this mod and didn't tell people how to fart, they wouldn't know, right? So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll look at the uh, startup message. And again, we're creating a class called start message. And oh, you know what? This is my old way of doing this. Let's go ahead and uh, actually fix this real quick. I am going to copy some code from our previous video. I'm gonna go into my examples and I'm gonna go to my start message. And again, if you watch my previous video, you'll understand uh, what's going on here. But I am going to basically take this, go back into here, and I am going to right here, and we will delete all of that. Fix our indentation. We don't need all this anymore. And here we will say, welcome to the, and then in brown, we'll say farting halls. Right, that's what I called it. And we'll also do this. If you do backslash N, that should indicate a new line character. So welcome to the farting halls. And then a new line here. We'll say, just, uh, we'll go back to blue. Why not? I don't think it matters whether this is capitalized, but it's good to be consistent. We'll say, press F to, and we'll say, fart. Let's go ahead and make sure we modified everything properly. There's our start message. Oh, blue, did I not do the backslash C? Should be backslash C before the blue color here. Otherwise it doesn't know that the next thing is a special character. So that should be good now. And so yeah, this is just saying we're creating a start message. That's the name of our class here. And when the player is spawned, uh, basically we're going to display a message in the middle. That's what that does. And again, for that to load, we have to actually also have our map info here, which we have our map info here of uh, key press, which we'll get to in a moment, but our start message. Also in here, we're saying for map one, we're renaming it the farting halls. And then we also have the farting halls here. One of these is the name that shows up when you look at the map. And the other one is the name that shows up when you finish the level at the uh, you know intro screen. We also changed the music to the level and the par. So. Basically, you're just modifying map stuff here. Uh, also, for music choices, you can give it a file, like a uh, AUG file or an MP3 that you have, and um, or you can use one of these variables for files that already exist. I just put the list of all the Doom 2 choices there, just as an example. But again, uh, so we're calling our our start message here, but we also get our key press function here. So let's go ahead and go into our key press function. Again, we called it key presses. That's what it was called in the other file. We're waiting for an event input. Again, I went over all this in the previous video on getting uh, key presses, but basically it's gonna check, is this key type, what type key type is it? Is the key being pressed down? Because you can do things like on the key up or other options as well, but we're just, when the key is pressed down, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check, is it the F key? If it is, in red, we're gonna say, 
fart up in the corner. And I put a new line character, which really isn't necessary. That's why there's an extra space between each fart. And then we're just going to play a sound. This is the function to play a sound. And what sound are we going to play? We're going to play the fart sound. And then you give it a channel, because there's different channels for different things. We're doing player voice, so basically it's playing at the player. Uh, yeah. And one last thing we look at, we have our sounds info file here, which lists all our custom fart sounds. And then we say, okay, from those, we're going to make one called fart, which randomly chooses one of these, which are all these up here. And again, for a visual, for those of you who need a visual, uh, here are all those files. And then we have our sound files, custom files, and then these are all our fart sounds. And that is how you make the fart guy sound, or the fart guy sound, the, the doom guy fart every time you press the F key. I hope you enjoyed this childish tutorial, but again, there's useful information in here. I hope you found it useful. Again, go to the GitLab page. There's a link in the description for all the examples. And also uh, check out my webpage, filmsbychris.com. I've been doing tutorials for uh, about 15 years. I have some old school Doom tutorials as well as a lot of other programming languages all about free and open source stuff mainly. And again, the support section there, if you have a few pennies or dollars or, or Benjamins you want to give me, you can support me here. If not, I would just love for people to share these videos. Again, I don't think there's too many uh, up-to-date videos on Zscript. That's why I'm doing these videos. I hope that you find these useful. If you do, share them with other people so that we can build this modding community, which is a great, the, the modding community for Doom is large. Let's grow it by having these tutorials be helpful for people. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.